so we're going to talk about the area of a circle. Um, it's a fairly typical exam question. It will uh, give you something like two or three marks, something like that. Okay, um, area of a circle. The formula that we use for area is pi r squared. Okay, now if you look at the beginning of your exam paper, it will usually give you the value of pi that they want you to use, which um, most of the times is 3.142. Very, very occasionally you'll see it as a fraction, which is 22 over 7, but uh, more often than not, 3.142 now. Okay, um, the radius of this particular circle is 5 centimetres, so it's 5 and because it's radius squared, it means radius times radius. So 5 times 5. Okay. Now, using my, uh, my magic calculator, which I calculated earlier, if I multiply all of those together, it will give me 78.55 centimetres squared, and that's to two decimal places. Okay, a um, couple of variations that you might get on this particular question is they might occasionally give you the diameter of the circle, which let's say is 10, okay, 10 centimetres. Well, if they give you the diameter, then just half it to give you the radius, which is 5 centimetres there. And then also, very occasionally, they might say um, something like, give your answer in terms of pi. Okay. Now, if you look at some of the other videos, pi is a, a very interesting number, and it does, this number of 3.142 actually goes on forever and ever. So, in terms of pi, this actually isn't that accurate, because pi isn't accurate. So, sometimes, they'll ask you in terms of pi, and what they mean is 5 times 5, which is 25, times pi. Okay? It means pretty much exactly the same, really. Um, it's just that's more accurate because pi is only to three decimal places in this particular question. Okay, uh, if you go to matrap.co.uk, uh, there are some uh, learning sheets. You'll be able to download those. Have a look and see if you can work out the area of the circles.